Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first race of the Taco Bell Pro Series uh, Season 1 here in Daytona for the hashtag WeLoveLefty300 uh, this afternoon. Uh, as you can see, obviously I did not post qualifying on the channel, but you can see Ryan Benjamin, James Elliott on the front row. Uh, qualifying was done a little bit uh, a few minutes ago. I did post it in the uh, IMOA, I, sorry, I -O -M -A Discord server. Make sure y'all join that. It should be in the description. But uh, I believe we're about to get going here. We should get the command in a couple of seconds. But uh, and you can see Benjamin and Elliot on the front row with Rose. Crown in the second row, and then Holder, Redneck, Drivers, and stop there is the your command. Engines. Uh, and then you can see Collins and Smith, and I can't really see behind them, but we should see them in a second, so. Uh, but yeah, those are, I believe, our top eight starters today. And then we have behind those guys, Chase Harris, Logan Williams, Nonagan Scott, if I mispronounce somebody else, just let me know. Comments, Brendan Farrell, Nate Wines, Brennan Asip, uh, Nathan Foreman, Devin Fair, Gavin Beers, Bradley Ream, Miles Edgeworth, Quinn Yeager, Dylan Jones, Tyler King, Arthur Xavier, Chris Black, Azul Cialo, Michael Pollitt, uh, Chase Buck, Casey Nanico, Zach Stern, Ryan Coggs, uh, Alexander James, Mark Silas, and Benjamin Deloney. Everyone made it off pit road this time. I have had uh, times where not everyone made it off pit road, so thank you. Uh, luckily, everyone did go off of pit road today, but uh, we're getting ready to go green here as the pace car will come down pit road here shortly for the start of the We Love Lefty 300 here from Daytona. International Super Speedway. Uh, I d if I had to make a pick early on, I would definitely go with Ryan Benjamin. He was fast all qualifying somehow. I believe he was three picks faster than James Elliott in that five car. So definitely has shown some speed early on this weekend. Um, but as the pace car will make a sharp left hand turn. Right about now, and as we come to the stripe, the first ever race of the Taco Bro Taco ah, Taco Bell Pro Series is underway. Benjamin and Elliot lead them to the green. Good start for Ryan Benjamin, but here comes James Elliott down at the bottom in the five car. He's looking to make the pass. It looks like a little bit of a two-car gap, uh, two-car breakaway up at the front. Rose and Collins side by side for that second spot. But James Elliott leads at the line in the five car. Is anyone going to make it three wide? We've seen some guys make drastic moves. Now it's a little bit earlier than you would expect to see moves made. Uh, so it looks like double file mostly throughout. I saw Reem, Farrell, and I believe that may have been the 36. Yeah, all three wide back there. That's about the only three wide move we've seen so far as Elliott and Benjamin still side by side for the top spot. Joe Collins trying to peek his nose in there. It's not enough of momentum, I would say, as still Elliott holds on a lead. Here comes Redneck making a three wide move. The four car going to potentially go into second here. Three wide behind the five. He's got control over all of the lanes. Here comes Demo Redneck all the way down to the inside. 
They're side by side for this top spot now. So it's the four and the five leading at Daytona. We haven't really seen any movements like guys from the back making their way to the front. You normally expect to see that at Daytona. Christian Holder trying to make the bottom lane work out Nathan Smith. The bottom lane, definitely the preferred line, and I think we're going to see that line be used a lot today. Here on lap three, this time by, I believe we're going to have the four car out in front, and we will. So a new leader, Demo Redneck in the four. I think Holder kind of got left out to drive at the bottom. If you guys want to go by him, he'll make his way back in line, but we still have a lot of three wide battling going on. No one has made it four wide. So that's practically just waiting for a wreck if someone does make a four wide move. But I think eventually we will see that. Something else I think we'll see will be pit stops. I imagine we, these guys will have to pit at some point today. Four car though just really holding his line good. He's Staying out in front. Is there's a little bit of a gap between this first and second group. I saw that, but uh, as Deloney and Xavier are both way off the pace. Same thing with Fair. I don't know if they're going really slow, but they are way off the pace early on. So, so maybe you have a pass for the lead. Here comes Logan Williams down to the bottom, three wide for the lead. And Williams has lots of help from Mark Silas. And oh man, here we go. I think maybe a four wide move by Nanako. Yes, four wide here. In four, or three and four. Will this work? Yo! I think it will. Oh no, we get turned. Logan Williams up and over. The big one at Daytona. And I did not expect that. I knew it looked like they were okay. Logan Williams and Nanako in it. I believe Wines got some damage. But I think the worst of that probably was Logan Williams, our leader. Demo Redneck with a big hit, too. Williams already on pit road. And I believe we are racing back to the line. No, okay, the caution is out. We did make it. Or the caution came out before we got back to the line. Uh, Mark Silas is your leader in Daytona, but we're going to have to see what happened to bring out that early caution. Uh, the big one strikes early on here at Daytona. So I didn't really catch this earlier, but uh, kind of see Nanako making it three wide there. Williams just gets hooked into Redneck. And, ooh, he just goes up and over on his roof. Normally when you're the leader, you... Ooh, and then Nanako and Buck get in it. Beers, Cogs, Xavier. Uh, Black was in it as well. Just normally when you're in the lead, you expect you're going to be safe from the wrecks, but we can't say that for Logan Williams today. Now we'll ride on board with uh, Mark Silas, our current leader. Let's see how he made it through this wreck. It's a really excellent job by the 55 car making it through that one. Uh, we'll take, uh, take a look at one more angle and then we'll go back to green. Look at one more on board here, the 31 of Casey Nanako. I really think that impact with the uh, number seven at the end of Logan Williams there. I think that's probably what ended his day as you can see heavy smoke out of the back of that one machine. Uh, I don't know if he got tapped because I did see he did get tapped. Um, I do want to see because he did get he was okay. He was going to make it through but he did get involved in it. Look he kind of got turned. Let's see. Oh, he got clipped by the fourth end of it, but uh, 
the big one strikes early on, taking out a lot of heavy hitters, but uh, we'll get back to the green flag. Well, uh, we've got a lot to cover from Daytona. First off, we will be going green this time. Second, we do have multiple cars out of the race. Uh, those being James Elliott, Demo Redneck, Arthur Xavier, uh, Logan Williams, and Casey Manico. Unfortunate for the five, four, and seven, they were all up in the front. Started up in the front today, and then, of course, the wreck took them out. Xavier was in the back most of the day anyways. Uh, unfortunate, though, he could have gained some spots off of this. And Casey Nanico was making his way through the field very well, but... Uh, fortunate ways to start off their seasons and to end their day this afternoon but uh mark silas is in the lead as i believe we should probably have some guys off the pace uh i know as you can see bradley ream has some damage in the back end of his 40 machine i know ryan benjamin got damage because i saw him scrape the wall there in the 13th spot but i believe he's okay before we quick uh, quickly before we go green, we'll look at the top ten. Silas in first. Uh, Dylan Jones moves up in the second. Nathan Smith in third. Gavin Beers in fourth. Nunnigan Scott in fifth. Uh, Ryan Coggs in sixth. Seventh is Brendan Burrell. Eighth is Nate Wines. Ninth is Michael Pilot. And tenth is Chase Buck. Heavy damage to the front end of that car. I don't know how he's still on the track without a hood. But... Uh, as the pace car is going to pull in shortly. We're going to get ready to go green here on lap 10 of 30. We're one-third of the way through the We Love Lefty 300 here at Daytona. Let's see here. I expect some guys are just not going to go. They're going to have some slight damage. So this is really going to shake up the race. I expect we'll probably have a little bit of a breakaway as Silas gets a great restart over Dylan Jones in the 20. Already some guys making it three wide there. The 44 look to make a move to the bottom. Probably that 19 back there looks like he's keeping up pace with the rest of these guys despite heavy damage. Dylan Jones to the top lane. That's going to allow Nathan Smith to the bottom. Side by side down the back straightaway between the 20 and 48 cars. Bit of a three car breakaway up at the front, but here comes the 86 and the 51 leading the second group. Silas still has the lead. We saw a lot of these guys that were in the back at the start of the race now up here due to the fact that all of the really dominant cars either have damage or are most likely out of this race. But uh, Silas still holds on to the lead. He started. I think pretty deep in the field today. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, he started 31st, but he's made his way up through the field pretty quickly. Here comes Alexander James down to the bottom. Having no help, he's going to charge up to second, potentially taking the lead from Silas down to the line. New leader is the 95 car. We didn't really expect this. Alexander James to the lead. Now can Silas get back around him? I think he won't because Nathan Smith is down the inside of the 55 car now. Three wide action behind. Pretty deep in the field. We've got three wide. As James is just starting to pull away. I don't know how. He's just starting to get a little bit of a gap. It might be too wide. Now, the thing I'm worried about is will we catch lap cars? There's Benjamin Deloney in the 98. Rose, Benjamin, Buck, Crown, all kind of off pace. I'd say we have a solid amount of cars still hanging on to this lead pack, though. All the way back, I'd say about the 36 car. Starting with 95 in the lead. Alexander James, Quinn Yeager moving up into the second spot. Under attack from Zach Stern in the eight machine, though. As they're side by side down the back straightaway. Stern doesn't have much help. Everyone seems to be on the top lane. As 
is the three wide behind him. That's Chase Harris, I believe, with the 15. Nathan Orman in the 24, and then I don't know who that is on the top lane. That was Brendan Farrell in the 32 car. Let's see, we have another two car breakaway here between James and Yeager. The They're starting to pull away a little bit. I think these guys have learned their lesson. They have not really made many crazy moves, which has allowed the 95 and 29 to sli slightly pull away. As Stern, he's starting to pull away from that pack too. He's got a little bit of momentum. As we're almost halfway through this event. Here at Daytona, Zach Stern with a run. He's going to go to the bottom. He looked like he was trying to, but they blocked that. Here comes Stern down inside. The eight car of Zach Stern, the Spotify machine, all the way down to the bottom. And we have pit stops midway through this race. I don't know if this is going to be the only stop they'll have to make, but Alexander James, Zach Stern, Bradley Reed. Gavin Beers all down pit road. Now the question is, will that be the last pit stop of the day? I believe the pit wear tire thingy is at three times. We may have to lower that for the next race. But uh, I don't know if they'll have to pit again. This really changes everything up. But now it's Quinn Yeager solely in the lead. Mark Silas though trying to make a little bit of a move here. That's the thing I'm wondering is, will these guys come down pit road here and will we have an incident trying to get down as, ooh, they were almost four wide slightly. Jaeger down, Holder, King, Collins, Cogs, Edgeworth, and Fair, all of the guys down pit road this time, which hands the lead over to Mark Silas, Dylan Jones down the bottom, trying to take the lead away. Chase Harris in the 15 car, also in third. Is he going to make a move? Jones and Harris going by Silas on the bottom. And here are all these guys exiting pit road. Deloney down. Now the thing is, can that the guys that pitted early, can they catch up to him as slow? I, Pharrell's very slow. He may have problems. Yeah, he was very slow. I don't know if that's an issue, but uh, at least Dylan Jones is staying out as well. Here's the second group of Reem, and I believe James is a little bit farther ahead, but Stern going into the field. I believe this, if they pass all of them, that means they will cycle out to the lead as they pass Tyler King now. And there's Devin Fair, Cogs. I don't think they're going to cycle out to the lead, but they're going to be right near this pack. As I believe some guys were very slow. Entering pit road as oh contact between Nathan Smith and Chase Harris, but um yeah Ryan Benjamin, I just noticed that is very slow. Uh yeah he's real slow. I I don't know why, but yeah problems for the seventy two the seventy two machine. Uh I maybe he ran out of fuel I guess, but uh. Rose is out, Pharrell's out, you can see, it looks like as Silas is going to get passed, it looks like Quinn Yeager most likely will cycle out the as they have passed, James and Holder has both passed them, it's a little bit of smoke, I don't believe we are under yellow, there's Dylan Jones, the leader, currently the leader, he's out of fuel, Benjamin has not made it down pit road yet. And I believe the 15 has a tire issue of Chase Harris. Yeah, so Benjamin and Jones have not made it down pit road yet. And I don't know if this is true, but I just saw the 15 of Chase Harris. Yeah, Chase Harris is out of the race. Uh, yeah, I, I guess it's from that, from that amount of contact, had to have out of the race. But uh, obviously there's issues with the... 72 of Ryan Benjamin and the 20 of Dylan Jones. Uh, they're not, they're going to finish the race, but they are both 28th and I believe 29th. If I'm not mistaken. No, Dylan Jones is 25th, but they're very slow. Uh, as there's the leaders, again, putting those guys another lap down. Uh, I believe it's, no, okay, it isn't. It's uh, Alexander James currently in the top spot. Trouble for those two, uh, Jones and uh, Benjamin. 
it up. I'll be right back, I believe. Actually, hold up. We're catching up to a lap car here. Benjamin Deloney. I believe I may have to get my computer charged, but definitely now is not a right time to do that as we will catch lap traffic here. Deloney has not had the best race this afternoon. Very off the pace for some reason. Now, they're going to catch up to the lap car. He's going to hold up James, maybe. Goes back to hold up Reem. Reem making a three-wide move to get around him. Alexander James will clear him. Zach Stern will clear the 98. And now he holds up Cog Beers. Hold up them. But Alexander James now pulled out the lead. We have 10 laps to go this time, I believe. So I, <laughs> I had to get my computer started, but uh, <coughs> everything appears to be okay. I just saw Ryan Benjamin exit pit road. There's Dylan Jones. Uh, they have, I guess, wore their fuel cell out. But uh, no one's really making an aggressive move. It's mainly single file, but uh, we do have a five car lead group here up in the front. James in the 95. I believe Reem is still... Yeah, he's in second despite damage. Zach Stern in third. Quinn Yeager in... Uh, actually, Holder's in fourth. Yeager in fifth. And Colin Spears in there are starting to catch back up. But we're catching up to a lap car. Dylan Jones. Who looked like he was in position to maybe get a solid finish. But not pitting soon enough. It resulted in that not happening. Here comes Zach Stern down in the bottom. With not much help, can he get underneath Bradley Ream? Now, which lane will Dylan Jones hold up? Looks like maybe the top lane, and he will. Which most likely means he'll hold up Bradley Ream unless he moves back down to the bottom. I don't think he will. So that's going to allow James and Stern to take the first and second spot. That's going to hold up Bradley Ream with the Mopar dodge. I think, although he's just not really falling back, I think we're probably going to go caution free the rest of this race, but I still think we have potential for an exciting finish. Now, Stern has no help on the bottom, which is the bad thing about Jones holding the top lane. Uh, no one can really pass him, and here comes, actually, Jones is going to go and get the leader, Alexander James. That's exactly what Reem and Stern want. They want him to go underneath them. Oh, and we're going to have more pit stops. I guess this is a three-stop race, as I saw. Zach Stern, Christian Holder, Mitchell Collins, Devon Fair, and uh, Ryan Coggs, along with Tyler King, all making their pit stops. Now question is, did staying out a couple extra laps, did that allow James and Ream to maybe make it on fuel? Bradley Ream now going to lead. Slightly over Alexander James in the 95. Here comes James though, back to the bottom. That slight damage I feel like is hurting Ream. James's car, car is perfectly fine, but you can see that rear end damage might be hurting the 40 car. I believe we have passed the point of no return. Alexander James down, Bradley Ream down, Quinn Yeager, Gavin Beers, the top four all coming down pit road. Does that mean we'll see someone new inherit the lead? And we do. Mormon also down. Michael Pollitt has taken the lead. I don't believe he'll have enough fuel. Now something I'd love to point out is where is Zach Stern exactly? He's on the back stretch. So we're going to watch Stern, and I believe uh, Gavin Beers is still on pit road. So Jaeger's out, Reem's out, James is out, Orman, Beers, Silas, they're all out. So Reem and James are out. Can Zach Stern catch them before they get up to speed? Reem automatically up to speed. I don't think it's going to be enough, though. I think Zach Stern's going to go right by them. 
James still holding it on the apron, so is Jaeger. Ream got a great exit of pit, off of pit road, but there's Zach Stern in the eight car. It looks like it's going to be a four car battle for the win, as I believe Stern's going to go around Ream in the 40. Actually, we do have four cars back there that can still contend, too. But now Stern is actually 14th, according to this. I not cycled out yet. Now, Michael Pollitt has come down pit road. Zach Stern may have just inherited the lead. I'm not sure. Actually, he's exiting, I think. But now, it looks like Stern is in third. There's Pollitt. Maybe he'll be able to hold on to the second, uh, hold on to the pack, but I don't think he will. Stern has gone around him. And it's still, they still say Brendan Farrell is in the second spot. Which he is now exiting pit road. In second, apparently. Now, if this is true and Brendan Farrell is in the lead, which I don't think he is, but if he is, that may have been an amazing strategy. But if he is, huh? But uh, Zach Stern, I believe, is our leader now as, I don't know if Paul had held on to the uh, lead pack, and yeah, Zach Stern is in the lead. Uh, yeah, Pollitt did not hold on to the pack. Ream is starting to fall off a little bit. But I think Zach Stern is starting to get a little bit of a gap here with three laps to go. Man, oh, it's just Collins is trying to get that push from Cogs, and he's just not pushing him much. They just all need to work together if they want to get around that eight car. I just don't think they'll be able to now. As you see, here comes Ryan Coggs down the inside. And we're going to have a lap car. Chase Buck in the 19. Which lane is he going to hold up? He's going to hold up the top. Stern had the, mo the option of going to the bottom. Actually, they're going to try to split him. Coggs, Collins, they're going to split him. Now he's going to hold up Jaeger. And now it looks like a breakaway from the top three. Now we see another lap car. That's Chris Black in the 14. I believe it is. Now Stern has enough of a gap, I believe, to go around Black. And no, he doesn't. Black goes to the top. Here comes Mitchell Collins. Mitchell Collins underneath the eight. There's Caleb Rose. Zach Stern and Mitchell Collins. Side by side, potentially, for the lead. Stern keeps it, though. The lap car of uh, Chris Black almost costed, or cost, <laughs> Zach Stern the win. But I think he's just got the faster car. As you can see, Collins and Coggs just not able to make something happen. Fair back there in fourth. He still isn't having enough. Now, I think... He would need another lap car. Michael Paulette has now moved into the lead group after the lap traffic. Now, if Zach Stern could hold on for another lap, basically, he would almost lock up his playoff spot as there are 12 playoff drivers and 19 regular season races, so he isn't guaranteed. But it's pretty likely that he'll make the playoffs now as we approach the white flag here. Zach Stern one more time around. Can Mitchell Collins make a move? There's Dylan Jones, a lap car. I think Stern has the, he has the option to go around him in either lane. Is so there three wide back there for third? Pollitt, Jaeger, Fair. If Pollitt had more time, I think he had, has the speed to catch up to him. There's Dylan Jones. Will we catch the lap car? If we do, where does Stern go? And will Collins make a move? I don't think he will. There's Jones. Collins trying to make a move. Here comes Mitchell Collins. Collins not going to have enough time. Dylan Jones holds up the bottom lane at the line. Zach Stern wins at Daytona. How about that? Zach Stern going to victory lane. And the We Love Lefty 300 in the 8. Spotify Camaro. Barely over Mitchell Collins, too. If Jones held up that top lane and held up Stern, I think we could be seeing Mitchell Collins in victory lane. But nevertheless, Zach Stern and the eight car going to victory lane. An amazing race and a great way 
to end it. Those last five or so laps, I was worried we weren't going to get the best finish, but in the end, I'd say it was a pretty solid finish. Uh, but yeah, Zach Stern going to go to victory lane, potentially punching his ticket in the playoffs. As here's your full finishing result. Zach Stern wins. Mitchell Collins second. Quinn Yeager third. Michael Pollitt. Pretty good pit strategy resulting in him finishing fourth. I'd say if he had a little bit more uh, speed, maybe more time, we could have seen him go to victory lane. Ryan Coggs in fifth. Devin Fair sixth. Christian Holder seventh. Mark Silas eighth. Bradley Ream ninth. And Alexander James, one of the more dominant guys than the last half of the race, I'd say. Comes home 10th. Definitely not the finish he would want, but he still gets the top 10. Nathan Orman, Gavin Beers. That should be our playoff bracket after today. Scott Edgeworth King rounding out the top 15. Crown, Cialo, Wines, Isip, Smith, the top 20. Farrell and Rose, the last two guys finishing on the lead lap. 21st and 22nd. Chris Black, Chase Buck, Benjamin Deloney, all one lap down. Dylan Jones, Ryan Benjamin. Both were pretty fast, but uh, running out of fuel or whatever happened there ended almost uh, basically ended their race. Uh, I think if that didn't happen, they probably could contend. Uh, obviously, Benjamin kind of got caught up in that wreck. Uh, Chase Harris with a tire issue ended his day. Uh, and then, of course, Elliot Redneck, Xavier Williams, and Nanako all got involved in that wreck. But uh, congratulations to Zach Stern on the first ever Taco Bell Press Series win. His first, the first race ever. Um, definitely a great way to start off the season for him and both uh, himself and the uh, league as a whole. But uh, thank y'all for watching. Uh, this was a great race. I'm definitely looking forward to next weekend. Uh, congrats to Zach Stern. Uh, there should be a special points graphic here at this point. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, race two next week, Auto Club. Make sure to be there. Uh, thank you all so much for watching, and uh, I will see you all next weekend. Bye.